Hello, welcome and welcome back. This is Jacob and today we are going to be continuing the file narration series with uh, the characters, voice lines. And in today's episode, we are going to also, with uh, the specialist category, round up this round three of file narrations in which we were going over four star characters. Next time we, uh, we start this from the top again with Vanguards is going to be in round number four this time with three star characters and one thing that i have realized while uh, doing this or rather just before the recording of this is i was looking through the classes and just preemptively looking who i'm gonna select for the next part here is an interesting thing that i think i've never noticed there is no three star specialist which is quite funny to think about not even a two star Two star I can kind of understand, but uh, not even a three star? That's interesting to know, I guess. But yeah, today we are going to be going over the final final specialist for a while in the series, I guess then, until we get to the one stars, <laughs> uh, which is Shaw. And uh, oh boy, I have also remembered when I was preparing for this that uh, Shaw got a <laughs> English VA <laughs> so that's gonna be fun <laughs> Bel believe me trust me you're still not gonna understand whatever uh, Shaw is saying anyway as a short little overview I'm sure most people already know who Shaw is and stuff who play this game but in case you're watching this and don't play the game and are just listening to the files Shaw is uh, in a branch <laughs> called push stroker and that has to be probably the most funniest sounding of all the uh, specific branches <laughs> of characters. <laughs> Ugh, Jesus Christ, why? Uh, anyway, as the branch name might suggest, she is someone who pushes things away. But yeah, anyway, uh, when it comes to what she does, essentially, uh, two things for her traits can be deployed on range tiles and attacks all enemies that she blocks. Plus, her talent once uh, she gets promoted get gives her plus 15 uh, resistance. Now, this resistance is not reflected here, it's just through her attributes. And, as you might think, both skills are pretty much meant to not just do damage, but also push away targets. First skill is an auto skill. Uh, very low energy uh, need for it, quickly recharges and just moderately pushes things away. While her second skill, which is a manual skill, can push targets significantly. And that is also reflected in the damage value of the both of both skills. But that is pr pretty much it. She's one of those units... I don't know. Uh, pushers and pullers are essentially units that are... They are amazing on tiles where you have like, um, or rather, I should say on maps where you have like pits where you can just fling enemies into them, which is amazing. Uh, but yeah, outside of that, pretty useful. You, you can obviously use the unit for whatever reason you want. She can pretty much keep uh, targets at bay in a line with her skills, especially the the more tankier ones, even though they're not really gonna be pushed away, but more like slowed down, I guess, would be the proper significant way to do. Because, yes, obviously, the weight of a unit affects their uh, the distance you can push them essentially. But let's go into the file, shall we? Uh, also, just a quick reminder this is one of the old units of the game, so there won't be much written here. The only thing I can say is the uh, Shaw herself has over time received not just one, but two whole operator records, which will both be linked in the uh, description of the video. And uh, at least one of them will be linked as well on the screen at the end of the video, so you can go and watch those if you want to see more about this little adorable squirrel. But anyway. Let's proceed into the file, shall we? So, basic info. Code name Shaw. Gender female, combat experience none, place of birth Lungman. Date of birth January 5th. Race Zalek. 
Height, 135 centimeters. <laughs> so small. Uh, infection status, non-infected as confirmed by medical report. Physical exam. Physical strength, normal. Mobility, excellent. Physical resilience, normal. Tactical acumen, standard. Combat skills, standard. And Originium Arts Assimilation, normal. Profile. Shaw, a firefighter of the Lungman Fire Department, has adapted firefighting skills to actual combat, providing a variety of new tactical options to Rhode Island. Currently a member of a special ops squad, she offers expertise in, fi in firefighting and safety. Clinical Analysis Imaging tests on this operator show clear outlines of internal organs with no abnormal dark spots or shadows. No unusual traces of originium particles present in the circulatory system. No signs of infection, confirming this operator as uninfected. Cell originium in assimilation 0%. Operator Shaw, Shaw showed no signs of infection. Blood originium crystal density 0.12 units per liter. Operator Shaw rarely comes into contact with originium. Archive file number 1. Operator Shaw tends to get nervous easily. Introverted and slow to speak, she has a tendency... <laughs> slow to speak. Uh, she has a tendency to keep running her mouth once she gets going. When engaged in conversation, Shaw spends most of her time struggling to choose the right words, which wears her out quickly. She is a highly dedicated worker, committed to getting the job done, especially in scenarios involving fire or arson. Archive file number two. The Petite Shaw manages to win the trust of her peers with her diligence and professionalism in the field of firefighting. The huge fire rescue operation last winter more than proved Shaw's competence. When the irresponsible use of a space heater eventually set a whole building ablaze, Shaw made numerous incursions inside to rescue trapped victims, orchestrating a successful operation with zero casualties. That earned her a personal invite from Wei Yan Wu, chief executive of Lungben, as well as headlines in all the newspapers. With Wei's and the LGD's support, Shaw was accepted into, the, into Rhode Island for her expertise in fire safety and preventation. It was an obvious boon to the island, since most operators have little to no knowledge or training in firefighting. Shaw handily filled the gap. When Shaw had the chance to inspect the intricate passageways and fi uh, firefighting equipment on the island, and after meeting certain operators who wield fire arts at will, she realized she faced a daunting task. <laughs> Archive file number three. To accommodate Shaw's daily tasks, the installation team at Rhode Island provided her with convenient, portable firefighting devices and a thermometer although the latter quickly overloaded and broke down. Operator Skyfire and Ifrit both denied responsibility for the demise of this extremely sensitive tool. <laughs> to combat this, Shaw decided to implement an effective, if rather old-fashioned technique, make a list of the operators most likely to start a fire, and initiate a firefighting program for the entire island. The first seminar commenced with the notable absence of Dr. Kaltzit, where Shaw presented materials and slides, including various scenes of major fires and warning signs. The presentation was short, thanks to Shaw's famously fast rate of speech, and the raucous applause made it clear the audience had no clue what she, <laughs> what she had intended to communicate to them. She confessed to hearing a voice. Uh, some confessed to hearing a voice, but being unable to locate the speaker. This disappointing outcome only kept Shaw down for about half a day, when she realized that there are many setbacks in life. Depression is the death of passion. Archive file number 4. Shaw reports her first memory of fire came from the tragic loss of a beloved fruit vendor to arson. That was when she realized a person can create a catastrophe from with from will alone, but will alone, but will alone won't resolve it. The idea of becoming a firefighter expert took root in her mind, as she hoped to save all the good things in life from the threat of fire. It also strengthened her resolve as a Rhode Island operator. When faced with a malefactor out 
To cause a catastrophe, she is always willing to stand against it. To Shaw, safeguarding the people from the suffering of an unexpected crisis is as precious and birth protecting as the feeling she gets from buying a big round apple. Alright, and with that we will go into <laughs> into the voice files. Uh, it is time to speed run voice files. <laughs> All I'm gonna say is both to uh, the Japanese VA and the English VA Harriet Carmichael. Double thumbs up for both of you. Uh, that is that is speed. <laughs> I don't know who can who can keep up with this, but good luck. I'm gonna shut up now. Awaiting orders, ready when you are, Chief. In the interest of safety, I am inspecting escape routes and firefighting equipment. One moment, please. Please be aware it is against regulation to light fires or smoke cigarettes in the corridors. Thank you for your cooperation, operators. Ensuring awareness of fire safety and firefighting protocols is a key part of my duties. Allow me to begin with you, Chief. I am very small, but that means I can do work no one else can. Uh, um, Chief, I I'm... I'm very nervous. I I actually, I I'm not good at expressing myself. D thank you for your concern. When I start speaking, sometimes I can't stop. I hope you forgive me, Chief. <sighs> Chief, can you please help change this light bulb? I... Uh, I can't reach it. Uh, oh, it's working now. Thank you. Chief! They're... They're barbecuing in the dorm again. Can you please stop them for me? Oh, someone swapped my fire extinguisher for Avery's flamethrower. Are you okay, Chief? Break time ends in a few minutes, just to let you know, Chief. Pleasure to meet you, Chief. I am Shaw of the Lundman Fire Department, reporting for duty. Exercise videos are part of the training? Thank you for your trust, Chief. This is an elite medal. Thank you, Chief. I will continue to do my best for everyone and for the Chief. Already. Follow my orders. Deploying. The fire is spreading this way. Get ready. Here. Understood. Uh huh. Hmm. Ha! Huh? Out of the way! Out of the way! Extinguishing flames! You have violated the fire regulation. A fire of this scale could not be extinguished without the help of the Chief and the others. The fire is extinguished, ready to return to base. The fire is basically under control. Should I begin the damage control process? Oh, oh no! The fire is spreading in this direction! I will stay here from now on then? Um... Arknights! Need something, Chief? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. I keep forgetting about the trust tab. <laughs> oh my god. What is wrong with this character? Anyway. Uh that 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 kids is when you eat sugar and you keep eating sugar. Yep. Uh anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, this will be it. <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> this will be it for today's file episode. Like I said, next time we're gonna start from the top again with vanguards. Uh, with one vanguard to be exact. And gonna go down the line once more. But in the next round, we're gonna sk <laughs> skip the uh, skip the specialist, but because there is no three-star specialist apparently, for whatever reason. A neat little thing that I never noticed. Anyway, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And uh, I will leave you with... Like she said. Anyway. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I will see you in the next one. <laughs> have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>